So here yeah, we go, first round. It's going to come down to good individual play here. Can you handle yourself on this map as we go on to round one? Looks like we've got the Assault Man Gaming again from C2 sticking to it from last map. We've got uh, two support, one recon. Cool. No, three support, one recon, one assault. I like it. Very good call for this map because we just were talking about, hey, these are small corridors and uh, supports like that, right? Well, Eco is saying, hey, we don't need to play double recon on this map. We could fan it up. Yeah, locking down office to go into long stairs and spiral. I actually think this is a, a huge big brain play from them because with the momentum from last match, C2 are absolutely going to play defensive. And how do you break defensive teams? I'll say it, I'll say it again. You bring a support. If they're camping, bring that fat, bring that meat, bring those smokes, and break open those positions. And that's what they're looking to do here. Yeah. They already know forklift. that they're in spawn. The Nate! Oh. <laughs> Almost. If he stepped forward a little more, that support would have been toast, but he's just whinged instead. Yep, this is why you sprint when you throw your grenades, get that extra momentum on the grenade, sends it much further. So now Here the smokes are smoke. coming out from Eco. This is going to decide the round. Like, can they pressure these smokes to break this spot? Oh, oh the, the distraction play for Miso. Yep, Dabla moving in on with that distraction. They're collapsing on the spot now. They want in. Two left. They got it. End up. On that ghost grenade. Oh, it's a 1v2 now, though. Oh, nah, never not was waiting. Excellent play from Eagle. I'm really impressed. Like, they took last match and they they said, hey, they're going to be camping because they're scared. And what do you do? You just bring big fat guys and one re scary distract man recon. And it just completely tore open that spawn. Yeah, that split push there was excellent. Like that distraction was fantastic to give the supports time to just push through with taking minimal damage, getting that assault down and just collapsing on them. Excellent. Yeah, ironically, like if they if C2 had actually pushed that round and pushed forward and met up with the recon or the assault before the supports were able to get to that position, they could have gotten a quick pickoff and then maybe just swung the round. But instead now it's Eco with the lead here. But so C2 very... are pushing long stairs to forklift. Good. I, you definitely you can't just sit defensive. You guys gotta like actually play a little more offensive. Never picking up the ghost here. Rusher getting that first kill at the long stair. Yeah, that's the ghost. What are you doing to do with it? Yeah, I think. Oh God, that nade. Rusher. This man's on fire. As well faces that. Oh, what a ballsy guy. He just faces that support player straight up and wins he's only got two health left but it's a very important pickoff because now it's 3v3 for as far as weapons are concerned uh, miso is I... flanking with an mx never traded the ghost to domler maybe not feeling as comfortable making calls and i think you can kind of see from the hesitation on eco here that like it actually is really difficult to call with the ghost because they're not entirely sure what they want to do it looks like they're opting for elevator play and c2's got to scramble back to the spawn they're not going to be able to get there in time to keep them from coming out of the elevator, which is the ideal. Uh, but they will at least be able to block the exit. Yep. Miso leading the way here. Is he going to get a pick? Um, the one thing that I don't like what Eco's doing here is pushing through this section is you get sprayed through that, that wall, like that little garage door wall. It's completely penetrable. But... Asbo's inside there, he's not outside there, and he's all alone with two health, so you can't really do that against the support. The real question I is, can damage. Dip can hold? Does he have a grenade? He's reloading. He's still trying to desperately flank around, but it doesn't matter. It never just cleans him up. 777 from Eco here, with both Never and Domler going uh, deathless. It's starting to look like a repeat of the last match. Uh, it, it's starting to look like C2 is just like two split when they don't want to be split. And when they are together, they're not necessarily able to capitalize on those trades. And then Eco just makes a plan and bum rushes with those supports. Yeah. And that's well switching up for the support there. But that's not quite enough meat to meet this uh, triple support cell from Eco that they're sticking with. Yeah, the problem is they have MXs and you've got a DRC as support. That is a huge, huge downgrade. But Karkano gets a very important kill. And they're also picking up and moving the Ghost as Eco, so in my opinion, you need to push as you right now. You need to find those players while they technically only have three guns. Yeah, Forklift is open and so is Long Stairs. Like, 
this this map to take here. This is a wide ghost. Yeah, all of eco, the last three eco players are all together. So this is your chance, C2. You can absolutely trap these people here. They they have one place to go either direction. Oh, and they're pushing up them. The they're trying to desperately get back to the spawn to be identified as well, but never gets a very important kill. They're trying to equalize here, but oh he gets a Ow. double kill! 2v1, Ow. this man wins! He had 19 HP. It was one tap. You really gotta win those SC2. Now it's a 3v3 and they've got ghost control and weapons. So remember I said they were trapped there? Well, if you're trying to push into there, the reverse holds true. There's only one way in and one way out. So, yep, never. You can't push in there. You, you, you either have to like hold them there, but if you push in, it's just the funnel. And now they're gonna try and actually cap, saying, hey, you're not in position. You're behind us trying to flank. There's only one player stopping us from getting that cap. And it's forklift, it's just Sarkano though. And now they're gonna try and 2v1 you. Looks like the maybe the recon's gonna hop forward. Domlo's got no, oh, okay. Domlo's just trying to pressure it, but he's got the meat. Rang is slow walking from the Australia. Like what are you doing? I think this is actually a tie-out round for at best for Nico now. Gets one. Oh Miso, he's only got a Milso. Don't oh don't shoot! Oh you shouldn't have shot. Oh he gets him though! Okay, you got oh. 10 seconds, Carcano. Like, get in there. Oh no, but Miso's camping in a cheeky spot. Do you do yeah, it? Do he... you push and go for the win? He doesn't have the time. Uh, I think actually Eco like got a little too. Yeah, I didn't expect him to actually stay in Forklift. I thought like Rang's blank wouldn't have worked there, but the hesitation worked in C2's favor, although we couldn't quite close that round out. Yeah, so Eco, they were like, okay, there's one player behind us. If we push to cap and we get there before that player catches up to us, you, you it's a free cap, right? You just got to kill that one player that's stopping you. But they stalled out. They weren't willing to have Miso, like, push forward or Domler drop him the MX and try and, like, 2v1. I think if they actually had dropped the MX onto Miso, Domler just goes in with Kyla, they can take that man, and then they can worry about the other guy afterwards. But a uh, little hesitation costing them a tie. At least C2 didn't vent another round. Okay, so they're putting the support through Forklift. Almost gets caught out by a grenade. Unfortunate. Yeah, now the smoke's out, though, so they can't push that anymore. They just gotta wait for the smoke to dissipate. Asmo's yep. sitting in the vent. Not a very common spot to sit. Can definitely catch a player out, though, if they decide to go up to the spiral staircase. 8-ball gets a very important first pick for C2. One HP in a dream. Come on. I mean, you're still alive. That's all that matters, right? Undead Corpse has got eyes on the ghost. There's another... Both teams eyeing the ghost. Oh, double nades! Oh, lots of smokes, but there's supports too. That's not going to be very effective. That's going to be a 2v1 because they got two supports and it's just you. If you're CT, you're screaming for a second nade and that smoke right now. The rest of CT is very stacked up. Oh, go, you got to push to get that trade. Oh, Rusher instead just gets it. Like, if they peek him one at a time, he just gets him. So it looks like Eco's in the driver's seat again. They've got the ghost. And now they've got the Russian just like taking names. Right. Just like MX is on the, the ground, he doesn't even want it. He just wants the ZRS. It's madman. Erectus is trying to hold the spawn while there's an 18 HP support stuck at elevator. He's got some confidence to be trying to trade from that position though. He's susceptible to getting a picked off here very easily. Erectus is sat in spawn. And God, this is the power of the overtime. You, you are supports, you're the fat slow man, and you, oh no, dead. dead. You don't, you did, you're doing this a con. You can't get through there. You're too fat. Like, eat a salad, God damn office? it. They are just holding office. Right, you need you to push, friend. They, they got kind of screwed up because of Undead. Like, they, they, Undead didn't realize that he couldn't flank through there, and that's really fucking their, their plans this round, so now they just gotta let Rusher do his work. He's been doing he, work this round, they just gotta make it to the cap zone. He could just cap, he's a support, he could just, yeah, just cap. Know, and guess what? Rang isn't anywhere close. That's a free yeah. cap. That's their first lieutenant. Thankfully, only one lieutenant and not three. That could have been much worse, but definitely late getting back in position as Rang there to stop the cap. No funny weapons, just sticks with a ZRS. He is a man after round. Ah. Like, do you think? Do you think he's low key, just kind of saying, "Hey, I'm gonna, 
I don't need better weapons. I'm just gonna use the ZRSL match because that's kind of what it feels like. If you actually wanted to use the ZRS, you could just have another player drop it and give them a, a better weapon. But a hundred percent. And also, I feel like Side Tama is a map where it's got a, a deceptible amount of like a deceptive amount of long sight lines, where a ZRS is actually really reliable. Uh, give that player a forklift as well. He's just there so early. Ball just doesn't see him. T Rex vision too scary. Get the double support in server. That's a very strong spot for support. Kind of fluctuate where you want to go from there as long as you control that area. Yeah, next one flank is almost catching out support. And Ooh. here's Miso on it on. He's on the warpath again. He sees another player. He's got a player to distract for him too, and never. But the path's too strong, and the recon player isn't willing to push in. Never is just trying to get on top of the truck instead of going in there, so. Yeah. No, Eurectus, did you fall for the vent trap too? <laughs> this, this vent. Oh no, Eurectus, you can't. You, you gotta, you gotta crouch jump, my dude. No, no. All right, well. He's yeah, in jail. someone's not been studying their maps, hasn't been watching the tournament either. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tommy's taking a leisurely stroll through big with that ghost. He's been doing an excellent job of calling so far on this map. I think like there's some initial hesitation, but there's clearly a reason why they're feeding him the ghost every time they get it. So unfortunately, due to Eurectus, there's just one person that's stuck in the cap. He's only got 10 HP. You can you can just breathe on this man and he's going to die. Yeah, I think Nefra's about to kill him. He's edging forwards. He's just yeah, looking I mean, for him. One Milso shot, like anything, you just kind of... Shoot into the sky and, the the head, and there it goes. So free cap again from them. They're gonna get triple, triple lieutenant. Oh. Okay. Okay. Did they go for funny weapons? You, you can get out of there, you wrecked. You just need to crouch jump, but I don't think you realize that. That hurts. That hurts me. Oh, you did it! He escaped. <laughs> All right. It's still only 4-0. There's still a lot of room left in this match so long as C2 takes at least one round. They need one round to get some some weapons. They need one round to kind of stall Eco out. Never's got the super here. He looks like he wants to go either... Yes, he's going to go the flank round with it. He just wants to mess some people up. Yeah, Dommy is just giggling to himself. It ball has not spawned. Oh, no. Not like this. C2, no. That, that... Yeah, there he is. Oh, thank God. Never has already got eyes on big here. Uh, oh, there's three players there too. He's gonna get so much intel here. But instead, oh, here comes like Eco wants to take control of big here, and they're getting pushing in with. Oh, Dommer dies though. Rika never still in the spot. He's just not peeking. He's too scared. Get a peek with your team when they're pushing. Oh, the ghost escapes just in time. Is coming wide. Oh, Z2, do? this is your chance. You've got the ghost, you've got a player that's behind them in their spawn. That Never is trapped. Is doing this for us, and... you, oh. It's go for it. Like, push, 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 my friend. Eight ball, okay. That's not good. The curse? C2, are you cursed? Like, last round, Eurectus is stuck in the vent. Now you're a uh, man down because eight ball is literally stuck. Eurectus is in a great spot, but you gotta advance that ghost. Asbel, you've gotta be the point man here with that support meat. You gotta pressure his eco back into the spawn. It rushes at a great spawn. Great fire back and forth. Yeah. The meat takes it. There's one more there. He's pushing back to the tank spawn. Oh, nice. Yes, C2 takes a round. We got a match. Nice. We got a game. Yeah, so a technical pause will be coming in. I just want to say, like, never had a couple opportunities that round, but I think he was just too hesitant to peek just a little too scared to peek. There's that round at Suicide at the very end there. If he had peeked, I think he could actually take it on the support and then maybe focus on the guy behind him. Similarly, when he got that quick flank on Big, he just didn't peek, even though Dombler was just like man boating it up the dead center of it. So a little bit of a shame there, but I think if it's going to be okay. I think it's just uh, trying to play angles rather than pushing with your team, but that's okay. Yep, so reconnect coming in from Airball should solve his issues. Nevra did pick up an air during the pause, whether or not he's going to actually keep that as an assault, we'll see. 
I really want to see him throw that to Nevra, or, or sorry, somebody throw an AA to Miso. I want to see Nevra pick up a Supa. I want, I want to see Sash Shotgun Bros. I want to see it. I want to see mm -hmm. him go somewhere together and just completely eviscerate the enemy. I, I mean, I also want C2 to win so we can do a third map, but I, I like the spice, okay? You, don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you see a team that's, like, playing really well, and it's a team that we've expected to play really well, and they are, like, finding their groove and performing well, you want to see them keep that performance. This is their match to win right now. So I, I do think this is an important moment. Even with the pause, it kind of gives C2 a, a, a chance to breathe here. They just start coming off a round win. It's it, it's only 1-4, even though the match up to this point has been very one-sided. Uh, maybe with the pause, with the round win, they can uh, get a little bit more confidence. Start making a little bit more plays on the map. Yes, there's Airball coming back in. Domi will be reconnecting as well. What would you want to see either team do in this situation? Like, I see two, how do you want to come back in this match? And as Eco, how do you want to continue the snowball and just keep the pressure on? Uh, so, for Eco, it's just, it's objective play, really. Like, you've got meat, you've got people who want to play support, but at the same time, you've got some absolute monsters who have access to a wide variety of weapons where they could just go in, go ham, get like four kills a piece. Like, so, yeah, air and super for the likes of like, Nevra, Miso, maybe Domi can do some funny Morsock players. Like, do do something spicy, like you said. Like, flex right now. This is your time to shine. Do it. As for C2, C2, they're showing a little bit of lack of uh, knowledge, I think, as, as well. And I'm seeing some singular holds, like one person going and holding Forklift on their own, or They'll send two down long stairs, only one will actually engage, the other might back off a bit. Uh, there's a little bit of indecisiveness, and I think that maybe they just need to tighten themselves up as a team. Like, they have grenades, they can easily crack these supports. They have ZRSs, they can easily kill those recons. They have what it takes to get that win, as we've seen them get a round out. So maybe just have a bit more confidence in your player. and not play into eco as much and try and dictate the round themselves. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I also just want to say that, okay, they're not doing it this round, but e like eco showing that unironically, almost entirely fat stack and recon can be a genuinely good way to play. You don't need to have assaults in your composition. They have three assaults this time, so that doesn't, uh, <laughs> makes me feel a little bit worse, but the, they showed earlier that they were absolutely willing to do just almost all support gaming. Oh, yeah. that AA gets a very quick backstab on Asbo and there's nobody there to respond. So it all still have technical issues? Yes, they do. But three players in Eco on Spiral, I think that's a mistake. That's way too many players for that tight area. If C2 had realized that they could have maybe taken some more map control, but I don't know, 8-ball, you know, stuck in spawn, just AFK. That's not what we want to see. Yeah. Spreading out with dummy. Miso in that flank spot. Frang trying to maybe get some eyes on big. I don't think there's anybody in there though. Oh no, the, the ghost is in there, so that's a good call. You can maybe peek Dommler. He's trying to catch up with Dommler, but now Dommler knows he's behind him. You gotta kill the ghost Dumbler. carrier and then run. Oh, no. Run, 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 Rang. No, okay, now you have to go back. Yeah. This is what you hate to see as support, like, they're running the ghost away from you and you have to waddle your way to try and stop- Oh, you're picking the wrong route. Free cap. Yep. Well, we got a full lieutenant stack on Eco. Do we see a PZ trade? I personally think it would be hilarious to see a full uh, SRS. Up. I don't think they would do it because this is an official tourney match, but... Yeah, it looks like they're sticking to what they're comfortable with. Russia sticking with his ZRS. We've got an MX on Domi, A on Nevra. Yeah, so not too, nothing too spicy from them. So it looks like uh, Russia actually is just straight up handicapping himself this match, but he's still 23-4. and four. Very impressed by his play today.
we're pushing up the spiral staircase, gonna run into a player here. Asbo getting there just a little too late with his knife. Nice and they're not even responding in an office there. The player who's watching long stare isn't even looking backwards, and yeah, there's like no calls. That's the shame. Something wasn't right with that ball there. He was just walking backwards and forwards and not turning. I wonder if his something's fucked on his computer. They should they should really maybe try and take a pause and even get a merc and never is just going to town with this AA. Nobody can stop this man. He's just killing everyone. <laughs> I love to see never work with the AA. Is that an ace? Is... What? Uh, I, I think that might have been an ace. It was. Oh my god. Never, you're huge. Did you even take any damage? Okay, well. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a mad man. Alright, C2, this is a. Uh, it's 1 6. I believe in you. The, the curse of 8 ball. Hopefully. No. No. That's 8 ball, please. Pain. Oh? No, Carcana, what? No. No. C2 is in shambles. Yeah, his, his ping spiking back up. I don't think this is gonna fix. Yeah, if this is. Yeah, this is gonna be a train train wreck. Yeah. You hate to see it going down oh, like this. No, oh, no. Did you get eaten by the pit, Erectus? What happened? <laughs> yeah. Is Did there he a kill body? himself in console? What? What happened he, there? Yeah, I think he. Oh, not like this. Fight to the end, C2. You can do it, I believe. That back on Bran? What's he gonna do? Oh no, he's... Oh, uh. C2 already have given up. Uh, you hate to see it. Even even if you're down 1-7, guys, you can you can take a round. You show that you can take a round from these guys. Don't give up. There's still hope. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing. As we go into match point, what... All teams need to remember is even if you're down rounds, even if you're down XP, you can just go assault, grab a ZRS, and get some easy kills. You got grenades. It's not. It's not over until it's over. They're gonna nade themselves. No, please don't. Uh, like, but honestly, a C2, a very no, a very real comeback strategy is like they've got an AA. You kill that player and you take that A. Now you. Guys, no, not like this, C2, please. Alright, we was... got Erectus, the only man who gives a fuck. Just don't yeah. cap on this man, C2. Let, let, let him 1v5 you. I think he can do it. Oh, he gets, gets the first one. kill! Beautiful Erectus, grenade. you're huge. He's me peeking up to big, but he doesn't find any players there. No, C2. Eco, don't cap on the man. Yeah, I was literally about to say, if you're eco, you don't cap on him. You just let let the round play out. Damn. Well, oh, that's GG. I mean, eco showed up today. I think they they finally showed like their true potential, and C2 just they they gave up. There's no other way to put it. There's no better way to put it. Is they they won a round. They had a chance. I know Eight Ball is having some technical issues, but you can absolutely come back from that. So it's just a it's a real shame. I don't. Think they're gonna do a third map, but I think Carcano is just absolutely fuming. Yeah, I, I mean I can't blame him for being tilted, um, but going out. I will out blame like him this... for suiciding two rounds in a row and pushing his team to all suicide. I, I, I will absolutely lay the yeah. fault on you. Yeah, but, that's... I mean, the the it just shows that competitive Mew Tokyo is absolutely stressful, and that it's not just how you play; it's your mindset. A lot of the a lot yep, of this game is, is not surprisingly how you think about it. Even when you're down, you gotta have that attitude that you can come back. And like just yeah. as Winners showed, like they've got the the ego to do whatever they want, even though it might seem like just super aggressive. Like you can you gotta hold your mental.